A San Diego company claims to have developed a cure for your electric bill blues. It's a new solar technology, and as Steve Bosch reports, the company thinks it can cut your power bill right in half. Every day, the Earth receives more solar energy than the total amount of energy the planet's six billion citizens would consume in 27 years. But how do you harness it? Solar panels are semiconductors attached to silicone or glass. Each is heavy, fragile, and expensive to manufacture, about 25 cents a kilowatt hour. Now there's new technology from a small San Diego company, SolarFlex. It can cut costs by using thin sheets of plastic that are stronger, lighter, and flexible. Cost about nine cents a kilowatt hour. For a uh, 1,500 square foot home, a 500 square foot array will produce three kilowatts of power. That's enough to power just about the whole house. The industry standard for solar production is 500 millivolts per cell. SolarFlex is producing 270 right now and expects to reach 500 by year's end. Outfitting a home with existing solar power costs about $70,000. The SolarFlex technology is about $25,000 and you've eliminated your electric bills for a generation. The long-term effect though is that you have nine cents a, a kilowatt hour power for 30 years. It's not gonna change, you own your own power station. The gap between the cost of solar energy and SDG&E has been narrowing in recent years. If SolarFlex is right, the gap has closed. Steve Bosch, KUSI News. Adrian Focus here with SolarFlex News. Today we're talking to Mike Fushil, the chief technician, showing our latest cell. This is the first cell we've made in this inverted fashion where we shine the light through the uh, plastic rather than right through the semiconductor. This is a manual setup we've created to allow us to do a uh, cell by cell test. Uh, what you're seeing here is the uh, probe. We're touching this. Is that the center cell, Mike? You're going? Center cell. Center cell. Cell number five. And uh, we bring in this light source, which has a calibrated uh, distance. Hold on a second, Mike. You've put on the little probe there. Just, just so that I know. Uh-huh. I'm at the right distance. Okay. But I want to be at to, uh, All right. to give us 100 milliwatts per centimeter square. This is uh, to show what we do for our light uh, calibration. This is showing the scale exactly at 100 milliwatts per centimeter squared uh, using the spacer stick that Mike's uh, devised here to get the uh, light the right distance yes. to the meter. Thank you, Mike. Okay. Okay, and uh, let's see, there's the meter right now. Okay, go ahead and uh, we're gonna... This little light thing is kind of tricky. Looking at the arrangement, we are on the 20 milliamp scale, not microamp. What was that? 2.65, I think. Uh, How many amps? Milliamps. Oh, that, this cell's producing, oh, I see where your scales are, yeah. Yeah, you're at uh, two and a half, basically, and on the uh, right, the 20 milliamp scale. So we had over two milliamps. Uh, three, over 300 millivolts at uh, on the two volt scale right around 300 millivolts. Mm -hmm. Milliamps, millivolts makes milliwatts. Yep. Milliwatts makes percentage. So what do you say, Mike? I say uh, all systems go onwards and upwards from here. Right on. Cells are going to be made in a sheet form. These thin sheets aren't just lighter and smaller, they can also bend. But what is most appealing about this breakthrough in solar technology is the cost. Unlike old solar panels, these cells are made from plastic. It lessens the cost, it lessens the weight, it becomes a flexible material, and what we're really aiming for is to be cost competitive with fossil fuel generated power. Achieving that goal could very well mean revolutionizing the way the whole world gets energy.